My name is Professor Klebert. I am the head of the Interdisciplinary Ultrasound Center since more than 20 years. We do nearly everything from vascular diseases until general imaging, contrast for contrast. We do around about 1,000 cases a year. And also we do ultrasound on the ICU and in the operation suite. So my first contact with the Mindray company was in 2018. So I visited the headquarters and was really surprised what's going on. And the first examination I've done in person was in 2022. So at this time I worked with the Arizona R9 and I was really surprised how high frame rate works on this equipment. So we could have got to frame it up to 40 frames in a second. This was really a big advantage in comparison to the existing option which was available. And this also helps us to find sometimes in difficult cases the proper diagnosis. So during this phase I was very interesting because to my knowledge Wineway was the only company we had got this huge frame rate that means more than 40 frames in the contrast setting. In the past there was some limitation that high frame also uh, destroy more bubbles but mind you have find a solution not to destroy so much bubbles and you have quite a long window for the examination. So since quite a long time I do contrast more than 25 years nearly and my main interest is of course abdominal imaging, primary search for neoplasm or benign liver lesion and due to the fact that I was now allowed to use also the A20 in daily work, I could use latest technique to see what's going on during the examination. How could I improve my diagnosis? How could I improve my confidence? And also transfer this information to our partner like the internal medicine and the surgeon. So what are the challenges in liver diagnostic? Of course, if you have the cl classical appearance of uh, a hemangioma, you know exactly this is a hemangioma. Unfortunately, we have also atypical hemangioma and we don't know is it really atypical hemangioma or is it a liver meds. But we have to make a diagnosis at the end of the day. We cannot say might be or not. Therefore, we sometimes need more information. We need higher frame rate. We have to see whether a lesion have feeding vessel. When does the washout start early or late? And sometimes this technique could help or make the major difference between find the final diagnosis or just send the patient home and say, we don't know it, I'm correct. So honestly, in the last couple half year, I'm focusing on super resolution. So I wrote a lot of scientific papers and I said, it's amazing that you could have 500 frames in a second in an experimental ultrasound equipment. In the past, no vendor was available to give this framework to us. But now I think there's an option that you could store a, a clip with 500 frames in a second. And this means very, very high resolution. And afterwards you get a lot of dynamic information and also additional information for the tumor which doesn't exist or which you maybe miss during conventional contrast examination. I think to my knowledge, the frame rate you could cover is around about 10 seconds. So you start your examination like you do it, you push the button, high frame or super resolution and then you could store a clip up to 10 seconds and then it takes another half minute until you get the final resolution of this uh, super resolution image. This new technique gives up the option to get all information directly on the system. You could acquire super resolution frames up to nearly a half minute and afterwards you could get the results of the analysis of the images directly on the system. There is no need to transfer data to an external computer or something like this. First of all, you have the option to see very, very tiny vessels which are not normally visible. You can see the flow direction. Does the flow come from the right to the left side or from the right to the left side? You get information regarding time of arrival, so how fast does the contrast arrive. So it's not only super resolution, so we have got vascular information, dynamic information, and this are different program settings which are available directly on the system once you have acquired the data. 
I mean, we have already talked about liver lesion, but also one topic is transplant kidney. Often the problem is that the uh, lab function is not good in a transplant kidney. So they have no idea, does this patient really have got a kidney infarction or reaction of the kidney. Therefore, we can show with this new technique very, very tiny kidney infarction, which are not so clearly visible by conventional contrast enhanced ultrasound examination. And this is sometimes the reason why the lab doesn't drop as fast as I would like. When we're focusing on liver lesion, sometimes we have to know is the filling from the center to the peripheral or from the peripheral to the center. If we have got a big lesion, like two or three centimeter, you could see the pathway easy. But if you have got tiny lesion, what, like one centimeter, the filling time is very, very fast. And this means you need more frames to see the movement of the bubbles. If you have only 20 or 30 frames, it takes two seconds or one second and the complete lesion is filled. But you didn't know or you didn't get the message what is the flow direction. And then you have got a problem to say, is this an FNH or maybe an adenoma? The A20 gives us the option that you have got the super resolution. And this means we got more frames in a shorter time with additional information like dynamic uh, flow direction and super resolution. So a new pathway of diagnostic could start. First of all, the system seems to me to have a very perfect workflow because workflow is the beginning. If the workflow is not good, then everything getting worse but this workflow worked very fine. This means it's like a normal ultrasound system where we have got a pathway which works for contrast perfectly. And now we have got additional features which we could include directly in our examination. And this means just push one button and that's it. And the rest will be done automatically by the system. So when we look back 20 years, contrast was only done at universities or very small centers which have a lot of experience. But since 20 years, the, the contrast setting is ruled out everywhere. So even smaller hospitals use it. And I think it's the same like a super solution. At the moment, university center will start, but I'm absolutely sure that the technique will spread very fast worldwide. Honestly, I think there must be a very big power inside because if you think about that you acquire 500 frames in a second and you could store 30 seconds, this means you have got around about 15,000 frames. And of course, this is a huge amount of data. Of course, we have to find a way how we could uh, use this huge amount of data. And maybe deep learning could be an option to get more data, to feel doctor more comfortable and get the best results of this demand of data. When we think about the patient which come to my examination every day, round about 30% of all liver examination have got a CT or MRI. And then they recommend additional contrast and ultrasound. And maybe in this case, there might be an option that we could have a shortcut for the future. Start with super resolution, if it's not clear, then maybe go to the MRI or CT. So it may be save also time and money. <music>